All right, so we're here with Dr. Oz, National Night of Conversation at West New York Memorial High School. So, Doctor, I think the easiest question of the night, at least I hope, uh, why West New York out of all the schools and high schools in New Jersey? Well, West New York is a, uh, is a typical school in this country. It's got a lot of diversity. Uh, it's a school that's been hit by problems with drugs, but it also has a community that's come together around these issues. You have political leadership that's savvy enough to realize that it's not about criminalizing drugs. Uh, it's about understanding that you need to embrace people with problems because it's a medical issue. Uh, it's a, a school system that's been very supportive of initiatives to get kids to talk openly about issues and, and get their parents involved in making sure those kids have the best lives possible. So you've got all the, the elements of a recipe for success. And then just the National Night of Conversation, you know, there's obviously a lot of things to talk about around the holiday season in terms of drug prevention, drugs addiction, and so on and so forth. But the question I have is just, what's the one point you would like the parents and students to take home this evening? You've got to have a question to start the ball rolling. And you can give people facts, and I've got lots to give out, like the number one cause of accidental death in America under age 50 is addiction, or that we use 75% of all the narcotics in the world, we're 5% of the population. There are many facts that can open people's minds. And that's not a bad way to get the, the ball rolling, but the most important question to ask is how are you coping? How are you keeping up? And then probe a little deeper and ask how their friends are coping. Because those will give you clues about whether they might be tempted by, to use chemicals. and if Young people realize their brains aren't ready for that temptation, and if they just give themselves a couple more years, it'll be so much easier for them for the rest of their life, I'll have achieved my goal. And actually, I also wanted to ask you, what do you think of the drug prevention programs in the schools, uh, you know, across the country, like DARE, like LEAD, things of like that nature? Do you think those are effective programs? I think the, the drug prevention programs are, are all valuable, but they all work differently, and they all work for different kinds of problems. So what you really want to do is get to the kids most at risk by using multiple different approaches because we're all different. And so if getting a parent to have confidence, to have a conversation is a way of being successful, please put that in there. If there's the best way to go, have that work there as well. More than likely, more is better.